It is called a miracle tree with leaves packed full of vitamins and nutrients. But does the so-called superfood Moringa hold up to the hype? We sent Eyewitness News reporter Addy Wajardo to try it out. Moringa, it's no stranger to the health world. It's shocked up on the board. We started probably about a year ago with that. It really has taken off. I mean, it has so many great uh, health benefits. At Farm to Juice, you can add a scoop of Moringa to a smoothie of your choice. For a little energy boost, um, it is also uh, thought to believe that it helps with lowering cholesterol and also helping with diabetes. We ordered a green juice with two heaping scoops of Moringa. It just tastes like a green juice, nice and earthy. There's a little bit of the taste of the powder, but it's, it's good. Overall, it's pretty well hidden. The Moringa tree is completely edible. The leaves, the root, the seeds, the pods, and the flowers. The leaves are high in vitamin A and C, calcium, zinc, iron, magnesium, and potassium. Some research shows it reduces chronic inflammation and can treat malnutrition and obesity simultaneously. According to a University of California Davis report, it adds that a study on rats found it could delay diabetes. We struck out finding Moringa leaves, but... We were able to find it in a variety of ways, in capsules, in compressed drops, in powder form, even a mixed smoothie protein mix. So I gave them all a try. Doesn't taste like anything. It tastes earthy. You can really smell it. It definitely made the yogurt super grainy. <sighs> I'm a little scared. Not sure if I'm a fan. Dietitian Jan Tilly says, while there is a lot of buzz around Moringa, the reality is... It's really hard to get fresh Moringa leaves in the States. And she says you have to eat more to get the vitamins and the nutrients. And you have to eat five cups of Moringa leaves to get the same amount of nutrients that you would get in spinach. Well, she took a look at some of the supplements we bought. Her take? It's giving you that feeling of doing a superfood, but really you're not getting much. Her 12 years of experience say, just stick to a well-balanced diet. It's really not a superfood. It's more like just kind of the next thing that's being touted. There's no science to back it up. Now, it can be a part of a healthy diet, but it's not the end-all be-all. Just an added jolt of vitamins and nutrients to spice up an already yeah. healthy smoothie. It's good. Addie Guajardo, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.